Newcastle United nil, Manchester City 2. I've had a finger licking good KFC birthday treat during the second half. And, well, <laughs> you don't need to win 7 or 8 nil to dominate a game. And that was clear evidence on show. Newcastle were outplayed, they were outpressed, they were outdone, they were outmanned. Man City deserved their place in the semi-finals. Now, before we get into this review, I want to give you guys the draw. So, of course, I'm a Man U follower as well as a Doncaster Rovers fan. Uh, I follow Man United as well. And um, basically, we've got your four finalists, your semi-finalists. So, it's going to be Arsenal versus Manchester City. And it's also going to be Chelsea against Manchester United. So Chelsea's a good draw for United. And Arsenal-Man City, well, I think there's only one contender in this, unfortunately, for Arsenal fans. Uh, but I think potentially we could have a Manchester derby in the final. So uh, it's very good. It's like fate, isn't it? It's either a London derby or a Manchester derby or a mix of the two. So... You know, it, it's very nice to potentially have a derby in the final, especially since Man City were in the final and won it 8-0 against Watford last year. So, you know, that would be very good. But, talking about this game then, let me give you a stat. This was about halfway through the first half. Completed passes. Man City, 118. Newcastle, 15. You don't need to score those to dominate. Man City were playing one-touch, two-touch, passing, pressing football. And it was like watching Barcelona. It was like watching 2012 Spain. It was like watching all of Pep Guardiola's teams. That's the tactic he's getting into his teams. And when it works, it works to perfection. It absolutely works. The first half, I give credit to Newcastle because apart from that one goal, it was pretty much putting the whole team behind the ball and, you know, City were just trying to find ways of attacking. It's like Manchester United against Norwich. They were trying to find the A to Z of football and uh, and the A to Z of scoring and tried to find each and every way from A to Z to how to score past a team that's putting thousands and thousands of men behind the ball, it seems. Uh, and Man City were like that as well because they came close on quite a few chances. But... It was very much passing football, one touch, two touch passing, and just finding a way through the Newcastle defence. And the penalty, um, got my chicken stuck in my mouth there. Uh, penalty, it was a penalty. Sh uh, Fabian Shaw, why did you give that away? That was stupid. I'm sorry, that was stupid. Um, but the penalty was a good one. Kevin De Bruyne took it well. The second goal in the second half, Raheem Sterling. That's why you play for England. That's the kind of performances we want to see from you. Uh, and that was a great goal from Sterling. Uh, it was a great set-up pass, to be honest, from the goal as well. I mean, if you didn't see it, um, basically from the goalkeeper and where the defender was, they literally looped it just past the halfway line to where Foden was. They passed it inside and uh, Sterling, got on the end, uh, Sterling got there in the end. And he was up against his defender... He sort of nearly took him that way, it seemed, but then he sort of shimmied it inside and took it the opposite way and it put the defender on the wrong shoulder and just took a little extra touch and then just curled it in to that to that bottom right corner. What a goal. That's a Mahrez-esque finish. I've got a, uh, got a chicken bone. Uh, <laughs> I love that, KFC. Hashtag finger licking good. Uh, <laughs> but uh, Man City... You know, they did exceptionally well tonight. And I think that they were deserving of their place. Newcastle, the, 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 the drought for a trophy still goes on. But with your new owners potentially coming in, kicking Ashley out the door by his ass, you know, you're going to have trophies in the future. Don't get me wrong about that. You're going to kick Mike Ashley right out of his ass out the door and you're going to get trophies back into your club. Don't worry, you'll do it. I believe in you, the whole fan base believes in you, the whole world believes in you after suffering 13 years of hell from Mike Ashley. So, um, Newcastle will get a trophy in the next few years, in my opinion, whether it's Carabao, whether it's FA Cup, whether it's the league, dare I say. Um, 
But hopefully they can bring that takeover through now and it's just the league they can focus on. They're not really, you know, playing for anything. I think Newcastle just playing to um, get a high mid-table finish rather than a low mid-table finish. So, you know, Newcastle don't really have anything to play for. They're not in any relegation threat, in my opinion, and they're not fighting for Europe. So uh, I think that Newcastle can just take it with the flow, go as it goes, and uh, finish on a high, really. And whether Steve Bruce is here next season or not, I mean, we don't know, do we? Um, so there we go. So that, my friends, is this uh, look into Newcastle Man City. So that's it for your FA Cup uh, reviews uh, this week. Uh, tune in on the 18th and 19th of July when we'll have reviews of our FA Cup semi-finals. Uh, make sure you tune in tomorrow, guys, because we've got an exceptional video coming. We've got the review of the League 2 playoff final between Exeter City and Northampton Town. And along the way, we've got plenty of other football videos. Pedro is set to join Roma. We'll be doing a video on that tomorrow. We've also got transfer news from Barcelona, Juventus. Uh, you just saw a video go up. Uh, before this video uh, from Doncaster Rovers, of course the team I support and you know this is pretty much a Doncaster Rovers fan channel with the other football included as well as basketball so you know you know where we're going with this uh, <laughs> but Doncaster Rovers transfer update is already up and we'll have plenty more I'm sure throughout the coming weeks uh, on players that we're rumoured to be signing and letting go. Thank you very much guys, I am the C-H-A-L-L, -L. please like, comment, subscribe, hope you like the new intro, see you guys in the next video, goodbye. Oh, my God!